Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive Judge, your man on sticks. I'm the stick holder. And we're playing Mad 20 with the Cleveland Browns house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cleveland Browns. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna know that we recorded these all in the same few days because you got the cold still. Do I still have the cold voice? Is it still here? I think it's worse than yesterday. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Fair. Because I can tell you how I feel compared to yesterday. <laughs> like a million dollars, it sounds like. <laughs> I'm good, man. <laughs> we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, so we got the brownies. I have never seen this team except for yesterday. It yeah. feels good, man. It feels like, honestly, Jonas, this feels like where it should have where it should have been in the beginning. Yeah, well, like, it all started out because I was just looking at a little bit of Madden, and then now the rest is history. But did we never played the Browns together. No, we did, like, like one time you came in and sat down on the Super Bowl. I did, I did an episode. Yeah, I you gotta, don't know, man. You gotta yeah, dig just, in the archives to find well, out. Well, because we always played the, the non-existent teams, because that's, like, a lot of fun, because we just get to make up whatever we want about I, anybody. I know, but I, I, I really do feel like two Cleveland guys playing Cleveland football. Oh, talking. yeah, I feel like uh, next Madden, it, that's what it's going to do. Just speaking from the minds of Cleveland guy stuff. Now let me ask you this: what? If we do a uh, Browns franchise next year, should we just start out with the real players, or should I just like jump the team like ten years into the future, who are just whoever no. whatever random guys are on the team and use those? No, just use the real team. Are you you nervous? No, I'm not nervous at all. Yeah, I, yeah, I just that. like I just like don't like playing with the real Browns You're players. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with the real Browns? I'm always like. Yeah, they're fine and all, but like I know how they really are in real life. Like these guys get their own wow. like backstory. I don't know why you hate on your own team. That's a home team. I'm not hating them. I'm just a re a realist. Uh, you know what? Okay, now I, I I do remember playing NBA games, and I used to like to get like like some of the best players on like a certain team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would always import like Mike Bibby and Kobe Bryant to the to the Cavs. <laughs> Mike Bibby of all players. <laughs> I really liked Mike Bibby. <laughs> I guess so. Like I could see Kobe. You're like Mike Bibby too. I was like, I, I I don't know, man. I had a thing for Bibby. Not like that. Yeah, I know. But he, I had uh, a thing he, he for Bibby. He always shot threes. I was respect about it. Yeah, I had a Bibby jersey. That, wow. What did he play for? The Raptors? He played for the Sacramento Kings. Oh, that's right. I knew it was purple. Yeah. I really like the color too. Those are days. Well, anyway, but Mike Bibby, I had a thing for him, so I could see why you would want to take a team like the Brownies and just make them like the dream team. Brownies. Oh no, I wasn't talking about that. Just jumping, the, like you can simulate the the team like ten years into the future. So then I just get ran, I just, it would just be full of rando, non-existent real men. Oh, so like whoever they had, like you simulate 10 seasons, the computer would play them and draft players and do whatever. And then all of a sudden you get like whatever team is there. So you're going to simulate through all of Odell Beckham's pregnancies. Yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the babies he's had. Yeah, not like load them up. I don't like loading teams up on that. I like actually the reverse. I like taking the worst players possible and seeing how I can play. Well, you don't even have to do that with the Browns. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you don't even have to That's do that. That's very true, to be honest. See, it's already done for you. Pre-made bad team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. Pre-made. What do you think the odds are that oh, before what? we die, the Browns are going to win a Super Bowl? Uh, I would swoop. Yeah, because we've never seen one, huh? Yeah, I mean, Ooh. and we aren't as spring chicken as we used to be. You know, you know what? You never know, Jonas, because I never thought I'd see the Cavs win one either. I never thought I'd see any Cleveland team because you get you get used to loss. When, yeah, you when get so fun. jaded about it. It's like oh. So it's like I've seen I've seen the Cavs get close and they didn't. I saw the Indians get close and they didn't. And I'm sorry, the Native Americans. I saw the, <laughs> the indigenous peoples. I'm sorry. And I've seen the Browns never even get close. So well, they got the AFC Championship game. When we were like kids. The same. It'd be like. It's, it's not. I mean, that's close, but that's not close. I yeah, guess it's yeah. closer than we'll ever. Oh yeah, achieve, the, the uh, well, the Cavs like never. Well, yeah, the Cavs had been there a few times. And then when I saw the Cavs win, like beat the odds, like those were that they was barely such, beat those odds. That too. was such an amazing series. It was. It was the most amazing series I've ever watched, and I watched every ounce of so it. So was the of um, work. so was the Cavs Cubs World Series. 
or not Cavs Cubs, Indians Cubs World Series. They went to Game Seven and they lost. Indigenous proud people. That was that was a. I don't even care for baseball that much. That was a great series. But they lost, right? Yeah, they did. See, well, in I the, don't care. It, 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 it takes it all the wind out of my sails if we lose. <laughs> <laughs> All the wind is gone. I don't I, like. I don't want to see a good fight and then see like the guy lose that I want to win. If I got money riding on that ish. Yeah. Okay. So if you, the question was, do I think it's possible? I hundred percent do, but I think it's going to take like just the culmination of the right events. Like the wind has to be blowing right. There has to be like a waxing mood. It has to be in moon. It has to be in retrograde. I feel like if the Browns get to the Super Bowl and they do win, it's going to be one of those things where, like, the reverse of everything that's ever happened in their life. Like, yeah. they're going to go to the Super Bowl, and, like, at halftime, they're going to be down, like, 28-3. to three. And then they're going to come back in the second half and, and win. And that's the that, And look, that's how Cleveland do. <laughs> right. That's how we that's do. How, and we would all be like, whatever, same old Browns, F, 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 F. And then, like, the whole second half would be like, is this really happening? Yeah. Are they real? What, who are they? Who is, or who are we watching? And then, like, when they win, it would yeah. be like the, it would be the, the other team would be caught off guard. <laughs> That's what that's what essentially has happened. If they were in the Super Bowl and they were up twenty eight to three at halftime, yeah. I'd be like, "We losing." Yeah, <laughs> we <gonna> lose this <laughs> game, <laughs> and it probably would happen I'm too. I'm telling you, the other team would be have to be out there just like let their guard down. They're like talking about last night's episode of Blackish, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> the Browns just like start playing football. Yeah. They're like, like, oh man, these guys are playing football. It would remind me of those like they're like, and I, you probably don't even know this because you don't play sports games. I do not. But in old sports games, like back in the day, they used to have a uh, thing called uh, catch-up assistance. You may be familiar from the basketball games; it was similar. Uh, um, but what it does, and it would be in it, like some games didn't have it. You couldn't turn it on and off. Other like basketball game, you could. What essentially it did was it would say if you got too far up on a team, oh, yeah. it would, it would like, decrease your ability and increase theirs yeah. to help them catch it, up. It's rubber banding, man. Right. That's, it's existed in Mario Kart forever. Right. Since its inception. But, uh... So what I, what, there was, like, this game I used I, I played. It was uh, NFL Street. It was, like, NFL Blitz, but a little bit different. It was for the PlayStation. NFL Street? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I liked NFL that Street. That was super fun. I used to play NBA Street, though. Yeah, NBA Street was fun. Yeah, so I used to play they, NBA Street Volume 2. They were good. Yeah, they were fun games. But what what what, what happened was I, I played through the whole game, the whole story mode or whatever it was. <laughs> you got to the final Street. the final game. You were playing, like, the Legends. You know, like, whoever, Barry Sanders. So they were, like, ridiculously yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, I remember. And uh, so what would happen is, uh, like, I'd end up going up by, like, three touchdowns, and then they would just be un and stoppable. Yeah. And I did this over. Over and over and over and over and I was uh, and I finally I was like I'm gonna just let them go up by 21 points I'm just gonna throw the game lo and behold I went I went down by 21 I became unstoppable I came back and beat them no problem really I was catching interceptions I was doing all the stuff that would happen for them was happening for me and I was like I I outsmarted the computer. I had to cheat <laughs> by using its own abilities against it. See, now that's crazy because, like, in a racing game, like Mario Kart or something, they have rubber banding, and it just kind of, like, keeps you within a certain distance, but it's still... So you're not destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but in a sports game, that's it was, a it was, uh, It was just... I think it was just programmed badly. Well, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, like, I think it just... It, it meant to just kind of keep it close, but it, like, it would just, like, make the other team a god team. Yeah, that game came out in 1942. <laughs> <laughs> it did, man. Right. Columbus they, they played were, it. They were playing their handhelds on Normandy. Yeah. When they stormed Normandy that day, they were playing, they were playing <laughs> NFL did, Wait, Norm? Was that 1942? No, it was after that. When did Columbus do his thing? 1492. That was close. <laughs> you reversed it. <laughs> right numbers. <laughs> yeah, right. You, you, you swapped it. I'll tell but, you what. I don't know history, man, at all. I don't know. I, uh, I, I don't know, know a lot more than I think I do. Anything. I don't know what happened, who was in, why we did World War One, Two, and or Three. We've had a World War Three, right? No. Okay, well, see, there. that just goes to show you. They're afraid it's going to happen with nuclear now. I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah. The key is to just move to a to least po populated area. There you you don't get corona and you don't get shot. Yeah, you uh you move to a country that's never been involved in a conflict like Sweden. Oh yeah, yeah. And you yeah. just like that Switzerland. Yeah, maybe that's who I meant. I think Sweden and Switzerland both, but 
Yeah, you just move somewhere like that. And then you're if, if you're not like you don't want to be involved in like world politics, they're you know they're not really a player. I mean they they're involved in the community in like the UN and stuff, but nobody. Wants to, I mean, they're like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Essentially, you know, we stay out, you don't bother us. That's kind of like their mindset. Yeah, you know, like, honestly, I, all right, I think of America as, like, that guy at a party that just, like, you know, we'll, we'll walk in the party, we're cool, we're chilling, we get a little too much alcohol in us, and then we start, like, picking fights. Oh, likes to fight guy. Yeah, but everybody knows that that guy keeps a gun under his seat, a gun in his trunk, a gun in the duty belt on him. And he's a black belt. And he's a black belt. <laughs> right, right. So it's like, you're like, hey, dude, that's effed up. You spilled my drink, drink Chad. <laughs> <laughs> and Eric's like, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Everyone's like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Who would Russia be at the party, Jonas? They would be the guy who's been doing keg stands all night, and then he tries to jump off the roof. Whoa. <laughs> Speak for their political reasoning. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to go political. <laughs> They'd be the guy spiking the punch. Oh. <laughs> and then just like laughing when everybody's drunk. Ooh. <laughs> Causing chaos, dude. Ooh, I like that. I or like they would, that. uh, they'd put, they'd, they'd, uh, put their, the music phone source on like repeat of some terrible song and then lock their phone and walk away out of the room. Oh, man. Some men just want to watch the world burn. All right, <laughs> let me do one. Let me do one. Let me do one. Uh, Australia is the, oh, Australia is the guy who brings his dog. Okay. <laughs> he just is like, hey, I brought my dog and he's like, He's the same guy that, like, mans the grill, and you just, like, man, you got dog fingers on my hot dog. <laughs> why is that Australia? What are they doing? Oh, okay. Because they're a prison uh, colony. That's I why. I feel like, let's see, who else? Who else Do China, else? Jonas. Oh, no, get out of here. What do you mean? <laughs> Russia was okay, but China's off limits? China's the, China is. Uh-huh. Let's see. Mind your words. <laughs> no, I'm just, I just like, they're going to come get me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude. All hail our grand leader, Xi uh, Jinping. Uh, let's see. Well, who would they be? They would be. They would be the people that. The people? No, we're talking about the person, Jonas. We're equating these to a single person. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The pe yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm just like I'm trying to. They're the people that get me sick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did not say that. I think China would be like the real nerdy girl in the corner who's like her parents don't let her go online past a certain time. She wow. can only watch certain shows on TV, but she's like really super smart and everybody asks her to do her to their homework. Boom. <laughs> oh, I was, going, I was going a different route. Were you? Oh, or were you yeah. going? I was going to say they were like, they're the people who show. The people, you keep saying that. <laughs> You can't talk about other people. <laughs> I've never mind. I'm, I'm dying. Because <laughs> no. now it's going to come out as something bad. It already sounds that way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understood the spirit of the, 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 the game. <laughs> no. No, <I'm> <laughs> oh, and Canada is just America's little brother who does <laughs> Wow. Was just like, yeah, what Chad said. Yeah, what Chad said. Oh. Uh, <laughs> All right. Here. I think uh, France would be the guy at the party who's like asking why you don't have better party snacks. Oh, yeah. He'd be like, no pretzels? Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> no France croissants? Would, France would definitely just make fun of everybody's food. <laughs> like my, uh, back home we make food way, way better than this. You should taste my mom's food. Yeah, why don't you have any, why don't you have any quiche? God, what kind of party is this? Dang it, Fra France has a dad who's a professional chef. <laughs> yeah. I could see that. Yeah, right. Uh, let's see. Germany. Whoa, there we go. Let's see. Don't go by old Germany, new Germany. And I know nothing about new Germany. Uh, they are the guy who comes and drinks tons of beer because it's not as strong as the beer they're used to drinking. They're like, "What? You got no craft beer? Got no? Got? Got?" <laughs> so this, but I feel like this is a hot take. This is a hot take. I feel like there are a ton of different cultures. I fumbled in the end zone. <laughs> there are a ton of different cultures who use drinking as like their background. Wait, hold on a second. What happened? You fumbled and then I you got it both. I fumbled into the end zone. They recovered and it said safety. 
That's not even. For watch, you? Watch this. Is that I dive, not the rule? He fumbles, somehow diving in the air. He picks it up. He gets tackled. It said safety. <laughs> That's not even. Isn't that right, though? How did he, it just fell out of his hands? He jumped. He, just he was jumped. actually down. <laughs> It did, but it said safety and then didn't even give... I don't... Broken. Wow. Yeah. Any, yeah, it didn't know how to handle that. It, <laughs> it was not programmed for that. <laughs> that game was like... <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like too many cultures use... We drink a lot. Like Irish, <laughs> we drink a lot. Scottish, we drink a lot. Germans, we drink a lot. I mean, Americans, do. we drink a lot. We eat a lot. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's, that's what we're definitely known for. Who else is known for drinking a lot? French? Are you just naming countries now? People, <laughs> Why like, not? Talk about people who drunk. I <laughs> misspoke. You're like, the French are drunks. <laughs> <laughs> it's French people. You can't be racist against French people. Oh, can't? No, can you? I, wait, I, I would assume you'd be as racist to them as anyone no. else. Can you? <laughs> they don't have feelings, right? <laughs> even about their feelings look okay so wait a minute look if i were to say something against canadians you're not gonna you're not gonna call me a racist against canadians and nor would i call you one <laughs> if you were like man i ain't letting any more canadians into my house I'd be, like, right. racist. I'd be like all right fam <laughs> i agree that sounds racist <laughs> Sounds discriminatory, not racist. I like bring a friend home, like, yeah, this is my friend from Quebec. You're like, no, no, God, <laughs> in my house. It would be weird. It would be dis. It would be like racist. He's like, hey, Jonas, I just want to use the bathroom. No. Somehow you we turned <laughs> turned something like Canadians into a racist statement. <laughs> it's like, I don't even it's feel like when you call Mexican people Mexicans, it sounds like it's a like, it, you're just like, like people use it as like a a derogatory word sometimes. God dang Canadians! Yeah, God, like GD Mexicans, GD Can It sounds bad. Like does it? Doesn't it? Like if you're like GD anything, it sounds bad. God dang Americans. Yeah, greedy Americans. It sounds like you're being discriminated against the people of a country. Yeah, fair. I guess. I guess you're right, I man. I guess depending how you talk. If you are like, you're, especially if you're like, all those Americans eat all the food and they're fat. It just like sounds like if you're like, wow. Cana you know, he says like a negative. You know, if you're like, wow. Canadians are nice. That doesn't sound racist. I guess I have to look deeper into myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right on the next episode <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode please make sure to like and uh subscribe if you've already done that uh do everything else watch all the videos every single one do it for Jonas. tnt dynamite catch you later bye we're out